Bienvenidos Washburn Millers. En este video aprenderían sobre el departamento de idiomas mundiales. Aquí están las clases de idiomas mundiales que ofrecemos. A continuación, conocerán a los profesores de idioma de mundo. Hello, everybody. My name is Katie Caracas. I am one of the Spanish teachers at Washburn. I am here with Amy Kafkas, one of the French teachers. Hello, bonjour. And we're going to talk to you about your options for world languages um, when you come in as a freshman next year. So what languages do we offer at Washburn? You can see here we have American Sign Language. We offer Arabic, French, Spanish, and Spanish for Spanish speakers. Our teachers for Arabic, ASL, and French are pictured here. We have Mr. Mefla, Ms. Martinetti, Madame Kafkas, myself, and Madame de Gregory. And for Spanish, we have Jill Leary, um, Katie Caracas, that's me, Luis Science, Megan Bot Miller, Mitchell Fettig, and Nikki Sundy. For sign language, we have um, the offerings we have for sign language are sign language one, two, three, and four. Now, because we don't have um, we don't have middle schools that teach sign language, most kids who choose this language will um, sign up for ASL one. Um, if you have any other, if you have any past experience in sign language and you want to be uh, put into a higher level, uh, we ask that you email Ms. Martinetti, whose email address is there at the bottom. For Arabic, uh, the course offerings are Arabic 1, Arabic 2, Arabic 3, Arabic 4, which is optional. And then there are the IB levels of Arabic, which are SL Year 1 and SL Year 2. Uh, the optional level is something that you will address with your teacher later at that time as you're uh, continuing through your level 3 studies. And for French, uh, we offer a similar trajectory within our course offerings. We offer one, two, three. Our level four is also optional. And then we break into the IB levels, which are SL French Year One, SL French Year Two, uh, HL French Year One, and HL French Year Two. So Spanish has. Um Similar offerings um, as French, we have Spanish one, two, three, four, which again is an optional level. And then SL Spanish year one, SL year two, HL year one, and HL year two. And ju just as a clarification, SL is standard level and HL is higher level. So HL is a little bit more difficult than the SL classes. Um, our course offerings for Spanish for Spanish speakers, we have Spanish for Spanish speakers level one, Spanish for Spanish speakers level two, uh, HL Spanish year one, HL Spanish year two. So most people uh, coming in for Spanish for Spanish speakers level um, as a ninth grader would take Spanish for Spanish speakers level one. So our course sequencing uh, is as follows. We have levels one, two, and three, and um, most incoming ninth graders with no prior experience in their chosen language will end up in level one. Um, students that come in with some uh, previous knowledge of whatever language they're intending to study uh, may be placed in levels two or level three, depending on recommendations from uh, the middle school teachers um, and uh, conversations that you may choose to have with the teacher for that chosen language. Um, level four is where things kind of change up. There are two pathways that you can choose to take. Um, if you choose to opt into level four and your proficiency supports that as your choice, you'll go along with uh, level four. 
And um, beyond that, there's IBSL year one and IBSL year two. Um, if you choose to opt out of level four and go directly into IB, the IB studies, um, you can see we have IBSL year one, and then it breaks off from there as well. And we would like to make a note, um, Ms. Karakis, about students coming from immersion schools. Yeah, so immersion students, um, there's always a question like my student went, my child went to an immersion school. Um, so what we are recommending for immersion students this year, and that is if you've gone, if you've gone all the way through eighth grade or if you've gone through um, fifth grade, you have the option based on your, um, your, abil your ability level, you have the option, we recommend you take level three or IBSL year one. Now, if you if you choose to take IBSL year one as a ninth grader, um, the your course sequence isn't isn't actually on here. But the sequence you would follow is you would take SL year one as a freshman, and then SL year two as a sophomore, HL year one as a junior, and HL year two as a senior. One thing I did want to point out too is if you noticed on the previous slides that the year two, SL year two and HL year two are what we call testing years. And these are the years that we will take an IB exam. And um, and so if you'll notice, SL year two and HL year two, these happen in like the fifth or sixth year of study. So a lot of people, a lot of people ask, well, what happens if I take like level one as a freshman, I, I won't reach that level. Um, we want to assure you that if you um, if you want to be a diploma candidate and you need to test at um, SL Year One um, as a senior, we will test you at SL Year One, um, or we will be committed to moving you up through the levels so that you reach SL Year Two. Um, anybody can test um, in SL Year One um, if they're a senior, um, if they're a diploma candidate and a senior. So we want to make sure that is clear. You can still get the diploma if you start in level one as a freshman. And one more note, um, if you are interested in becoming a diploma candidate, um, please factor into your language choice that um, currently ASL um, is not possible to test for the diploma. Um, however, uh, French, Spanish, and Arabic all are possible to do that testing for the diploma. Yes. So if you're going to do the diploma, you have to be in Arabic, French, or Spanish for essentially all four years. And then um, the course sequencing for Spanish for Spanish speakers, um, like we showed before in the other slide, you would take Spanish speakers level one as a freshman, level two as a sophomore. And then, you know, we like to, to have our Spanish speakers go into the higher level classes, year one or um, year one as a junior and year two as a senior. But um, in some cases, the students will take the standard level, year one as a, as a junior and year two as a senior. But in some cases, students will be placed right into year two. And that is it. We are looking forward to meeting you. And we'd like to add whatever language you choose, we are committed to giving you a great experience with language here at Washburn. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you.